It's that time of year again. Kids all across the Tampa Bay area heading back to class today. Our back to school coverage continues in Pinellas County. And 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian has been there all morning long live at the school bus depot. Good morning, Aaron. What can we expect this year? Yeah, good morning. Those school buses have hit the road for the first day of school. One of the first people greeting those drivers was the new superintendent, Kevin Hendricks, who joins me live this morning. And superintendent, why, what's this like for you being at the helm your first day of the first day of school here in the new district? It's exciting. I mean, you know, uh, 25th year as an educator, every opening day is awesome, uh, whether I was a teacher or principal or now in this role as superintendent. So one of the great things is you get to kind of restart and re-energize and you have a new season. And so uh, thrilled with our bus drivers and, and the fact that we're have all our routes covered and, and students should be to school on time today. And you're bringing in some new energy. I mean, what are some of your goals for your first year here? Really, you know, number one is making sure our employees know how valuable they are and the, the important part that they play in the health of our community. And we've been trying to do that uh, since uh, really the start of the summer. But for our students, uh, getting back to a sense of normal and also a heightened student experience in our schools. They've done so much learning online. We want school to be a place that's fun, that uh, the expectations are higher than they've ever been and something that you can't get sitting behind your computer. And so as they return to school, they're going to feel a lot of that energy today. And school districts, you know, across the state have been dealing with, you know, their fair share of struggles when it comes to, you know, hiring enough bus drivers, hiring enough teachers, getting some of those positions filled. I mean, what are some of the biggest challenges you think you're facing in your first year here in the district? I think those are challenges, but you can also overcome those things. You know, um, 13,000 employees, we have a million people that live in Pinellas County, so there's uh, plenty of folks who can come work for Pinellas County Schools, and we need to make that an attractive option, and I feel like we have. Some of the other challenges are, are just making sure we return students beyond pre-pandemic learning levels. And so we've seen sort of a return to where we were in 2019, and now we need to accelerate past that. I think education, as just as our society has changed so much, and schools need to change with that, and we feel that we've outpaced that change. And best of luck on your first year. Thank you, Superintendent. And so these buses, as I said, hit the road. 25,000 students taking them to their first day of school this year. And if you are interested in some of those open positions, whether that's for fill-in bus drivers, you can find out more about that on the district's website. For now, live in St. Pete, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.